Hello and welcome to Investor's Edge. In this video, we're going to explore covered call writing. What is it and how can you best execute this strategy in your portfolio? In our previous video, we examined the payoff of buying a call. If you recall, as a call option buyer, you enter the contract and pay a premium for the right to buy a stock at the designated strike price until expiry. Now we're gonna look at the other side of the trade from the perspective of the call option seller or writer. This is where we receive a premium upfront in exchange for the obligation to sell shares of the underlying company should the call be exercised. So what is a covered call? This is a strategy where we combine ownership of a stock with selling or writing a call against it. In other words, long stock, short calls. We either have shares of the company already or we go out and purchase the shares in the open market, generally prior to writing the call options. Imagine you own 500 shares of XYZ Inc. in your portfolio. You've been holding this stock for a while and have been looking for ways of generating additional income. In this case, you may choose to sell five XYZ Inc. calls at your selected strike price and expiry date. If the call option is exercised, you will have to sell your 500 shares. Now, what would happen if you own 575 shares? Would you be able to write more than five calls? Since each option contract represents 100 shares, you must round down to the nearest 100 to figure out how many contracts you can actually write. In this example, the 75 shares is considered an odd lot, so you can only write calls against 500 shares or sell five contracts. As a covered call writer, what's in it for you? For starters, income is generated immediately, and you may use this cash flow for other investments to help fund your retirement or perhaps contribute to your next vacation. Secondly, it provides some downside protection by reducing the break-even value on the trade. Lastly, you may turn a profit without any increase in the underlying stock price. While you may buy back your calls at any point throughout the term of the contract, covered calls tend to be held until expiration. The reason why? Because as an option seller, time is on your side. If you remember from our previous video, there are two components of an option premium, intrinsic value and time value. Time value is the portion that generates profits for you, and we know time value rose to zero at an accelerating rate. If we hold till expiration, we will either be assigned on our contracts and have to sell our shares, or the option expires worthless and we get to do it all over again. Now let's look at an example. Here we buy 1,000 shares of company XYZ for $12 a share. We sell 10 of the $13 calls that will expire in six months at a price of a dollar. We immediately have positive cash flow of $1,000 by writing the call, which adds to the $12,000 outflow for purchasing the stock, thus reducing our break even on the trade to $11,000. What will happen next? Well, let's look at some scenarios. So we bought our stock at $12 and sold our call for $1 premium. What happens if the stock goes up a lot during the six month period and say closes at $18? You can see that you would have been much better off not writing the call as the stock is up 50% compared to your maximum return, which is just shy of 17%. Why is that your maximum return? Well, if the shares are trading above the strike price at expiry, you will be assigned on the calls and are obligated to sell the stock for $13 there is $1 appreciation on the shares from 12 to 13, plus the dollar premium we initially collected. In this scenario, the opportunity cost of using the covered call strategy versus simply holding the stock is actually quite significant. The optimal outcome for us is if the stock closes at $13 on expiry because we get to maximize the price appreciation potential of the trade without having to sell our shares. That appreciation is in addition to the premium we collected. Now, if the stock does not move and closes at the $12 price we purchased it at, the return generated is simply equal to the cash flow yield from the premium. If the stock is down a little, you may still turn a profit because as we mentioned earlier, the premium lowers the break-even value of the trade. This highlights the downside protection component of the strategy, but it won't save you from a significant downward move in the stock price. From these scenarios, you can see the sweet spot for covered call writer is slightly positive to flat stock performance. Thank you for watching and happy trading.